Hey everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with mgrmusic.com and today we're going to look at five great riffs by five different players and we're going to see if the HT20 Mark II can really get us close to those classic tones. The first riff we're going to do is the Nirvana classic Smells Like Teen Spirit. Now Kurt Cobain used a lot of different gear so if you look online you'll see no shortage of different things that he was using but probably his most well-known tones came from a combination of a Mesa Boogie preamp with some Marshall 412s. Now we're going to see if we can get close with the HT20. I've got this set on the Overdrive channel on the first voice with the ISF completely to the left. Now this will give us that slightly more mid-scooped American sound. The bass is set to 3, the middle set to 4, the treble set to 7 and the reverb is set to about 2. I'm using a Tokai Strat here on the middle pickup and the cabinet is mic'd with an Aston Origin condenser mic. The next riff we're going to explore is Californication by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. John Fashante was a guitar player who used an absolute plethora of different gear. Now, it's so hard to pinpoint one set of gear that gives him his iconic sound, because if you look at any rig rundowns of him, he's using a ton of amps, a ton of guitars, and a ton of pedals. So we're limiting ourselves here with a Strat and a 1x12 combo, but let's see if we can get close to that Californication clean tone. So I'm actually playing on the Overdrive channel again with the first voice selected, but I've got the gain set down at 2. I've got the ISF set straight up at 12 o'clock, so we've got the best of that British and American sound. John was known for using a combination of Fender style amps and Marshall style amps, so we've got the best of both worlds here. The bass and middle are both set to 7, the treble 6, and there's no reverb, this is completely dry. On the Strat I've got the neck pickup selected, and I'm rolling the volume back to about 8, just to take the edge off. Now it wouldn't be right in doing any guitar tone videos that use a Strat without talking about Hendrix. Now Hendrix is probably one of the biggest guitar players of all time and it's no surprise that many people chase his tone on a regular basis. So the riff we're going to look at today is the intro riff for the song Purple Haze. The original of this was recorded with a fuzz face pedal through a 100 watt Marshall stack. We're going to try and recreate a similar tone with just the amp. So we're not going to use any fuzz at all. So we're not going to get exactly the same breakup, but we're going to look at getting that Hendrixy type sound from this. So I'm using the Strat again in the middle position. For this, we're on the first voice of the Overdrive channel again with the ISF set all the way to the right for that fully British tone. And the gain is set to around six. The bass is set to six, the middle is way up at nine, and the treble is on seven, and I've got the reverb on about three. <laughs> Right, it's time to look at a Queen classic now, the Brian May riff from the song Tie Your Mother Down. The original was recorded with Brian's hand-built red special guitar. I don't own one of those, so I'm going to be using my Telecaster in the bridge position just to get that same sort of single coil bite that Brian got on the original recording. The original was recorded with Brian's tried and tested Vox AC30 and treble booster combination. So to try and mimic that, we're using the first voice of the Overdrive channel with the gain set to about 9, which is quite high, because Brian really used to crank those amps and the ISF set all the way to the right for again that full British tone. The bass is set to 6, the middle is set to 9 and the treble is set to 6 as well. Now you can crank the treble a little bit more or less depending on taste. Brian would have used different degrees of treble at different points in his career but also those Vox amps are also very mid humped as well. The reverb is set to about 4 for that big rock sound. <laughs> So the final one we're doing now is the riff from Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. 
Slash is, again, one of the most tone-chased guitarists in the world. This track was recorded with his 1959 Les Paul copy built by Chris Derrig straight into a JCM 800. So for this we've got the first voice of the overdrive selected with once again the ISF fully right and the gain is up at about 9 for this. Bass is set to 6, the middle set to 5, the treble has dropped down to about 3 and we're up to about 4 on the reverb again. I'm using this Epiphone Les Paul in the neck pickup position for this tone. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've enjoyed the guitar tones in this video and I hope you think that we've gotten quite close to the originals. Now, the whole point of this is to show off just how versatile the HT20 Mark II is. You plug a couple of different guitars into it and you can do a world of different tones. All the tones in this video was just a guitar straight into the amp. All the reverbs, EQ and gain all come directly from the amp. Don't forget to subscribe to Blackstar Potential for more free videos like this. And if you're looking for a teacher in your local area, please check out mgrmusic.com. We've got a network of great teachers all around the country just waiting to help you unlock your full potential. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you soon.